Hi, YouTube. This is Melissa. I am the middle-aged redoer, and I thought I'd take some time tonight to hang out and see if we can learn together. Uh, I just bought, um, I was on vacation last week, or the week before, worked all last week, back from vacation. You know, it's terrible when it's over. So um, I went, thought we'd get together, sit down tonight, and go through my my treasures, what I was able to find, and um, maybe we can work together to learn about some of the markings on them. Maybe we can learn about pricing and where is the best platform to sell them. Now, a little bit about myself. I am middle-aged, as it says in my name. Yeah, I'm middle-aged and I'm okay with that. We're having a good time. I'm a nurse. I work full time as a nurse and selling now on uh, eBay. And um, I have an antique booth. I sell some things on Mercari. Um, working on building an Etsy store that I've, I've. That's been interesting. You know, Etsy's interesting. Um, have some listings on Poshmark that I've sold here and there. Um, I'm just taking a stab at it. Uh, eBay's been a hoot. Um, so how did I get here? That's an interesting thought. Um, way back when this thing we started last year happened, my husband would, was telling me about how people in our age bracket were out working the gig economy to make a little extra money. So um, I thought, well, why not? I'm sitting in the house all day. I'm working from home. I'm not really sitting here I'm working from home like most of us are. And um, thought it would be good to get out. Let's try it. You know, I'm doing okay. I'm well for the most part. <laughs> As my dad used to say, I'm in pretty good shape for the shape I'm in. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's give it a try. And I thought what I learned from that experience was that you, there's, there's always a way to make money. And I kind of knew that going through my life. And as we get to know each other, I'm sure I'll share more, but things haven't been easy, you know, as for most of us, you know, my young adult years were tough and, um, you know, I had to redo, constantly redoing, reevaluating, figuring out how to, to make life better for me and my family. Uh, and, and that was good. I, I learned from that. I grew from that. I'm stronger and better and faster, not faster. That's not happening anymore. Um, I want to believe it that, you know, it takes me still just a minute to take care of something that should only take a minute to do. Anyway, it's fine. So, um, yeah, that's, that's where we are. And so, you know, my husband loves YouTube and, and that's great because I now love YouTube because I, I, I learned so much from here. The joke around my house is, you know, the kids ask, well, how do I do whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm like, ask YouTube. YouTube's going to tell you how to do it step by step and you get better information there. So <laughs> YouTube has taught me a lot, um, you know, so he also was watching not just, you know, the gig economy uh, YouTubers, but he would watch, um, you know, about about uh, people that would buy liquidation boxes and they were, you know, re the stuff that they were getting in them was just crazy and that they were selling these and making a living doing it. And I'm like, that's amazing. So for a year, maybe even longer, I was chewing over it. Like this would really be great to try. Um, I'm a crafter and, and that's some of where I get my name from. I like to take old things and make them into something else. Um, so I had a craft studio at our local um, art community and um, well, let's say that was an interesting experience. And I decided to move on from that. And um, even while I was there and collecting some of the stuff that I had, I thought, you know, boy, this would be interesting. Like maybe we should change gears and do that. Um, and it was, it was a bittersweet kind of time to decide to pack up and, and move on that this really wasn't beneficial what I was doing. It wasn't helping the household. It wasn't helping my psyche. I was tired. And, um, 
I just really wasn't putting out good product and that was frustrating. So, um, fast forward, like I said, to the thing and, you know, learning that, that I could pay off some bills by making money for myself outside of the income that I was making from the nine to five and, um, took a shot and bought a box, um, off of, off of, I think the first one I bought was from, from balk.com. And that was interesting. And I put stuff up and cha-ching happened. And I thought, you know what? People in my area, I live in New England, and they love to put their stuff on the side of the road that isn't necessarily for the trash, but isn't, they don't want to go to Goodwill or the thrift store and drop it off. So, um, yeah, they, they leave it there on the side of the road. So somebody must have had a tag sale and beautifully laid out on this tarp or sheet or whatever it was, was a CD burner thing still in its original box. No, it was older. It was probably, I don't know, a 90s, early 2000 model of whatever this thing was. And I'm like, you know what? What the heck? It's free on the side of the road. Let's plop it up on eBay and see what happens. And sure enough, the thing sold and it sold for good money. From then on, I was hooked. But I, I had to have YouTube help me to know um, that you really have to find your way and what what genre that you like to sell in. And um, I, I found that liquidation lots and health and beauty may not be, be my jam. Um, yeah, Lindy Glenn, how, how do you sell that toothpaste without, I, I hats off to you, girl. Way to go. <sighs> That's all I got to say about that. I, I, so, <laughs> yeah, so I, I found that the stuff on the side of the road and the stuff at the Goodwill and the stuff at the thrift stores is what really speaks to me. Um, and that's a lot of what you'll see in my eBay store. Um, of course, that toothpaste and the health and beauty stuff is still up there because I haven't had the patience yet to take it down. But that's that's what I'm liking. And I, I think what it is that I really have, has me drawn to that is the memories. And again, things in my life have kind of gone full circle. My craft business was built on memories. It was, um, I made memory bears out of old clothes for, for people that have lost their loved ones. And then I would just go to thrift stores and buy uh, old shirts and make bears to, for people to just come into my studio and buy, which was fun. I had a great time doing it, touched a lot of hearts with their memories. So I think this is just something that rolls into what I'm doing. And um, I'm having a good time doing this. This this is fun. This is fun for me. So um, I, I find myself when I'm at the thrift stores, really engaging our history and who where I came from and what we are as a culture, what we are as um, a collective of people that have come together. And, um, you know, if I, if I think I can get something, if I'm getting it and I'm getting it for a good price and I can flip it into something and turn that around into, into money that I can pay off some bills with, then I'm saying success. So, you know, I, I'm not out to, to only sell the most expensive tchotchke that I can find. Um, if I think it's cool and I can, I can make a couple bucks off of it, then I'm going to put it up and see what happens. I'm not afraid of that. Um, what's it going to hurt? You know, who's stopping me? Nothing to be afraid of at this point in our lives. I mean, I think that's one of the, the joys that comes with being middle age. You don't have to necessarily sit back and be, um, daunted by trying anymore. You don't have to be afraid of what people think. Otherwise I wouldn't be on here live talking to no one at the moment. And that's fine. Um, you know, I just, I believe just, it's good to keep trying new things because learning and exploring and, and benefiting from all the things that, that this life or whatever it is that we have, um, 
you know, it's really, it's really a great gift. So anyway, enough preaching. <laughs> Let's get into looking. All right. Um, so here we go. I have, I have some bags of some goodies here. I, I haven't seen since it, it got put in the bag at the Goodwill and the thrift stores and I haven't touched it since. So usually on Saturdays and Sundays, I buzz over to my antique booth um, and I got to get the okay from the antique booth to talk more about that on, on our get togethers. But, um, you know, I, I try and sit down on Friday, Friday and Saturday nights and organize what I can take in there and price it and try and sort out where I'm going to put, um, put what, and take a good guess as to, uh, how much it's going to go for. And so have my iPad here, or I will maybe, you know, if you, if you, like what I have to, what I'm saying, if you have interest in what I'm doing, if you see something that I have no idea what it is and what the markings are, or you have an idea of what you think it might be a good price to go for, comment below. Tell me what you like. Tell me if what you're seeing you want to see more of. And listen, I don't blame you if you don't like it and you do a thumbs down and you tell me whatever, go back and sell your toothpaste. Um, that's fine. <laughs> tell me, tell me why not? I'm, I'm old. What the heck? I can take it. I'm middle-aged, you know, whatever. It's fine. Oh, I'm addicted to my nice big cup of hot tea. Um, but yeah, subscribe. I'm, I'm thinking if we sit down every Friday night and kind of go over things, it might be fun. You know, who, who else, who else has other better things to do on Friday night during quarantine when nothing else is happening so let's see what's in this bag let's start in this bag like i said things are still wrapped up i don't know what's in here i don't know what's where it's all going to be a big surprise to us oh this is cute so let's see here try and my light it's pretty this little oh where's my there we go this little um, vase, it's um, Johnson Brothers, Old Britain Castles. I got this at one of our local thrift stores. It's only open Monday through Friday. I don't get to go there often. And honestly, I think that this is probably something that's gonna go to my booth for like 10 or $12. I mean, it's in excellent shape. Nothing's wrong with it, no chips or cracks. It's adorable, but I, I don't know that it'll bring much money on eBay. So I think the plan is for that to go to the booth. It's cute. Let's see, who else do we got? I got some cute things there. It's a little pricey at that. Goodwill. Oh, here we go for a dollar. I get this cute little art pottery creamer. I don't know what that marking is. It's cute. Here, my battery's gonna die. It must have unplugged us. I got it for a buck. Let me plug us in before I lose us. Okay, let's see. I got it for a dollar. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some more research on that. I almost feel like that would be something good to put on eBay. Um, we'll see. We'll see. have to do some research on what those markings were. I've been finding, though, too, um, things that I'm just not sure. Pretty sure it's nothing overly exceptional, but if I like it, somebody else might. I put things up on auction. Some of them starting at just like six fifty, so I can make my money back plus. Plus, oh, this was cute. Let me get the rest of this. This is a a set. So let's see if we can find the other pieces to this set. Connecticut, you know, we have, we have 
there's some pretty nice uh, pretty nice areas with people that <laughs> have means to collect and they do I think that was it so I have this set made in Bavaria and it's a white with gold leaf um, creamer and sugar so here's the sugar with the lid and get the tape off yeah it's gonna have to get washed out there's still remnants of sugar in it um it has a z i don't know if we can there we go and you can see the z hand painted on there and here's the creamer i like the shape of it you know I know things that are monogrammed may not be necessarily the most valuable. And this one says Bavaria as well. But I, I just like the, the structure of how these were made. Here's the salt and pepper that go with it. I think these will go to my booth. I'll clean them up. Probably put them out in the booth for, I don't know, $20, $25. And I paid, I think I paid six for the whole set. It was half off of those. So it's going to be somewhere in that area. Um, I don't know if it'll be something for eBay. I'll have to dig around a little bit and see. If eBay would be good because it would draw more people to, that would be interested in having a monogram sugar creamer and salt and pepper. But having somebody with the last name. Z. I don't know, maybe it came from a hotel or something like that. I don't know. We'll do some more research. And I have this little, uh, I believe it's Fostoria pink bowl. Maybe it's an open sugar bowl. Um, I don't know. It was literally, I, I think I paid $2 for it. I don't know. They price things. I, I don't get to go to this thrift store very often. So, uh, I don't know. I felt bad about putting it back. So I took it home. Probably wouldn't have paid $2 for it, but it's in good shape and it's cute. I, I might have a piece to go with this. Sold a couple of this pattern at my, at my booth. And that's probably where that'll end up at the booth. Let's see. have plenty of packing paper once this is all done. Trust me, I have I have plenty. We may not get through. We probably won't get all through this tonight. There'll be some left for for next Friday, I'm sure. I think I got this for myself. A little hen on nest. I have a flock of chickens. You know, who doesn't need who doesn't need a hun, a good hun in their life, right? So I, I think this one's me. Yeah, I paid full price for it. It's six dollars. I could probably get about twenty-five for this in my booth, but I think I want it, and I think I'm gonna keep it. So that's fine, right? Who's gonna stop me? No one. No one's gonna stop me. All right. These look like goodwill treasures. I picked up a a singer. I picked up a singer serger. I sew. I told you I make memory bears. Um, Sergers can go there. They're go for good money. So I haven't decided if I'm keeping this one for myself and the one I have upstairs, if I'm going to resell what I, I don't know, but either way, a serger is going to be leaving this house. Let's see. Oh, these are fun. So I feel like these are going to go on Etsy. Ooh, I wonder where I put the cup. So I have these amber thumbprint plates. And they have the rim here for the coffee cup. 
Let me see if I can find the coffee cup. I think I got six of these plates. I think there were eight there at the Goodwill that day. But, um, here we go. But they were, there were a couple that were chips. So, um, I paid for these. I think they were, they were a dollar. The, the cups were a dollar a piece. Yeah, there you go. And the plates were, yeah, the plates were two. So it wasn't necessarily the cheapest. The cheapest. But they're in excellent shape. So um, I know Amber, you know, I just thought these were an adorable little lunch set. And they're, they're in beautiful shape. So I, these are probably going to go on um, eBay and Etsy, probably for about fifteen dollars a set. Um, I don't know. I have to search comps on it, but that's in my mind when I'm when I'm shopping. I'm, you know, looking at what I think I can get for them. And that's that's what I think is going to be pretty close. Let's see. What else is in here? These are some more of those plates. They're heavy too. They are, they are substantial glass. Is it Indiana maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I just, when I saw them, I'm like, oh, I have to have those. I don't think that this guy is old. He's a soap dish. He's a moose. Definitely looks like modern screws, but he was like a buck and I thought he was adorable. I think likely eBay, maybe the booth. I feel like this might be something that I put up on auction for six fifty to start. I, it wouldn't break my heart if that's all I got for him. I think that would be completely reasonable. Um, you know, in, and sales at 650 still add up, you know, if you make a buck, then that buck can turn into two. So I'm okay. I'm okay with that. That, that wouldn't hurt my heart. Not a bit. Is there some more treasures from, from that, from that Goodwill haul? Let's see. Some pieces from... Some pieces from the serger. Let me bring it up here so I can look a little closer. What's this? Oh, some more of the some of the cups, the saucers for. Right. So, oh, it's hooked. Oh, oh, oh! Be gentle. So I found this watering can, this ceramic watering can, and it's false graft. I know some of you say that you don't sell false craft. I believe I paid a buck fifty for this. And I've sold some false craft stuff that I got at tag sales. Getting fifteen dollars for something that I put a dollar fifty into, it won't break my heart. So I think. I think I'm going to list this on eBay first and see how it does there for a little bit. If it doesn't get too much interest, I may pull it down and put it in the booth. Um, but I think that's where it's going to go. eBay, maybe Etsy with it. Maybe Facebook Marketplace. You know, Facebook Marketplace has been awesome for those of you that have been thinking about trying. Try it. Let me know in the comments below. Do you, do you sell on Marketplace? Because I'm having a blast there. I mean, things don't stay up long there. And if they do, then I guess probably nobody really wanted it. I found this little creamer. I think it was half price. It is made in Germany. I paid, I think I paid a buck for it. It says two dollars, but I think yellow was half off. So it says it's made in Germany, US zone. Let's see if I can. Get that where you can see it. There you go. 
that's going to be interesting to research. If you know, if you know anything about it, let me know. Um, it's in really good shape too. It, it, the flowers are pretty, they're pretty too. I think that might be transfer wear. I don't think it's hand painted. Um, but the gold, the gold leaf, still in good shape. Couldn't find a sugar for it, but it's cute. For a buck, I couldn't leave it there on the shelf to get beaten up. Ah, uh, this. This glows this beautiful um, green uranium glass plate. Almost looks like it may have needed a bowl in the center. Uh, this is this rim is kind of raised now that I'm touching it. I couldn't find it, but the gold embellishments were in such good shape. This was three bucks. Uranium glass sells in my booth, so. I think that is where, I'm not, why am I leaning? Because that's what I do, I lean. Um, uranium glass cells in the booth, so that's probably where that's gonna go, and I'm probably gonna ask 15 for that. Maybe 18. Yeah, I think closer to 18 for that in the booth. So we'll get that washed up and taken there this weekend. I have to take down Christmas. I didn't put a lot of, of holiday stuff in the booth. I didn't have a lot of holiday stuff in the booth. I, you know, I just started reselling in May. And, um, you know, I took I took my booth. I, I moved in in October. All on a whim because who really has to plan their life? Everybody but me. Um, you know, I, I just jumped in with both feet. I don't know. I, my poor husband, God bless this man's soul. I um, went to a tag sale this summer um, and this lady was selling off her collection, collections, excuse me. Um, I believe that they were resellers. Um, I think they went to, it looked like they went to um, antique shows and stuff like that. And I found these beautiful vases and things. I'm like, I'm going to get a booth. And I'm going to put these in and I'm going to sell them there. I, I got a blue Fenton floor vase. It's tall and a red, a red might be Viking, uh, Amber. I don't know. I don't even remember what it was anymore, but the red one did sell for Christmas. I'm like, I knew, I knew you were going to go in the booth. I have some more of those, those uh, cups. Oh, here's another pottery piece, another art pottery piece. And it was a dollar. It was cute. I love the greens. Like, green is my color. Um, looks like it. RCO, it says here. There you go, RCO. Um, maybe a hobbyist piece. It's pretty well made, but... I like the glaze, the finish on it. I mean, anything green. Oh, there's there's the dogs. <laughs> they have to chime in. I'm sure there's intruders or bears or foxes or something out in the yard because that's just the way it is. Even though we live in town, things go through our yard and that's just the way it is. Or heaven forbid somebody could actually be walking their dog out in front of their house and that's the worst thing you can do, right? That's what they say. Do you have dogs? Do you have pets that just bark? Can't stand people like anywhere near their neighborhood. Give me a thought. You know, tell me. Tell me about your critters. Love my critters. On the weekends, Rich takes our boys. We have three dogs. He takes our boy dogs and they go on in their adventure. And I take our little girl dog because she's crazy. And she likes to walk and she's a good walker for them. But he can't walk all three dogs. That's just me. But I, I feel bad about leaving her home alone. So I started taking her thrifting with me and I threw her in the cart. And you may see more of Daisy. Let's just say that. I think this is going to be a cute hoot, an absolute hoot. But anyway, let's see. Let's see what else we have. Okay. These, these I thought were adorable. I don't think they're a set. I'm pretty sure they're not a set. Um, they're vases. They're wood-carved vases. 
They're really in nice shape. I have no idea about them. They're beautiful. I got them for $2 a piece. Um, oh, this one says Haiti. There we go. Haiti. So, I don't know. They look like they're made by the same people. Very similar, but I don't know. We'll put them up. We'll see what they do. I thought they were pretty. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. I figure I could probably. I feel like that's going to be an eBay item. Maybe, maybe Etsy. That would probably be a fun place for it. Etsy. Um, so we'll have to research that some more and find out. Find out more about it. Now these, these I thought were beautiful. They're art pottery. I got two, two mugs and they're a good, they're a good size. They're not big enough for me because this is what I drink out of. <laughs> I don't know if they hold the same, but still the blues and the tan and the grays in these are just beautiful. It carries them on the inside and it is signed. Uh, let's see if we can. There we are. I can't make it out. We're going to have to take some time and try and figure out. So, you know, this is one of those things. Again, if you know something that I don't know, please share. I would appreciate it. Um, Oh, they're cute. Look at them. These are going to go on um, Etsy and eBay for sure. Um, I think, yeah, I don't think it's anything that would be appreciated in the world. That's one thing about where I have my antique booth. Um, you know, we can put some newer things in there. You know, they prefer that it's older, you know, before 2000. Um, but you know, I, they're good like that. Um, I don't, I don't think that they would be happy there. So we'll put those up one day and see. I'll use some more of my, my amber mugs. It's so pretty. The coffee cup. Let's craft salt and pepper. I've sold a couple different, wait, which way am I going? I, I know you know what they look like. Um, there we go, salt and pepper. Um, I, I These sell at the booth. So that's where these are going. I, I think I paid, looks like $2 or a dollar a piece. So $2 for the set. I'm probably gonna put $18 on them. They will find a new home at the booth. For sure. I do not doubt that for a second that they will find a new booth. I, I just I cannot wait to find out exactly what these these lunch plates are with the, the you know I, I something that I realized too when I'm when I'm out thrifting and I touch the new stuff and or the old stuff and it just has it just has a quality to it that that you just don't go to the store. You're, you're not going to Walmart and getting this stuff that's made of something. I mean, the quality just, you know, when you pick up one of these coffee cups, you have something. Or punch. Maybe they're for punch. Maybe it's for a party. What is this? Oh, this is cute. This candy. Look at this candy candy dish, maybe probably. No, let's take this tape off and figure it out. I mean, I was surprised that the handle was still intact at the Goodwill. I mean, who figures? My Goodwill, I don't usually go to the Goodwill where I find this one at. 
I mean, they beat things to crap there. I, I'm telling you, stuff just gets tossed on the shelves, and I don't know how anything comes out un intact. I really don't. It's just, I don't go there too often, but this day I was lucky. And look at that beauty. And it's, I mean, it's heavy. I don't think it's marked. Um, Oh good, it's not chipped. It's not chipped on either spot. I'm gonna have to do some research on this. I feel like I could get 25 or 30 bucks for this, but where, where? Maybe the booth, maybe eBay. I need to know more though about what this is. I, I just, the, the glass, the pressed glass patterns, I have to learn more about. Um, I just found out about the EAPG um, website, so maybe maybe I'll be able to find that there. You tell me though. What do you think? Am I crazy? It's not as exceptional as what I think it is. I don't know. I think it's beautiful. Just the shape alone. I mean, look at that globe. The handle. I mean, too cool. Maybe it was for a bar set. Oh, ice? I don't know. I, I want to know more. I have to know more. And Roy has to know who is outside. Who knows? Who knows? So let's see what else we have. Roy, I don't think it's nearly as serious as you're making it out to be. All right, let's see what else we have here. Let us see. All right. I thought I could reach. I thought I could reach, but I couldn't. And I, and I was setting up and organizing and everything in a place where it was going to be easy to. And, you know, best laid plans, right? Okay, I'll just roll with it. Now, I feel like some of the things that are in this bag may have been some of the treasures that we got uh, in the haul video that I put up. The day before yesterday. It could be wrong. It's just, these are good little treasures too. Oh, it is, it is, it is. So this is the left in um, dish, or I think, I think it's a planter. There were four pieces to it. Two like this, and then two curved ones like this. And the flowers, you know, they're in they're in pretty good shape too. I can't wait to look this up. When I was editing that video, <laughs> or learning to edit. I'm like that is just the coolest thing. Here's the other piece. They are just the piece. so I think what they are. I'm assuming. Oh, I don't see the other rounded piece. I think what they do is go around the center piece. You set this around the center piece, and you put more plants in it. I mean, by the rounded piece you can i don't know if you can see it's pretty dirty i mean it looks like it's a planter so i'd love to hear i'd love to hear from those of you that know better than i do that's daisy yelling i don't know if you can hear her um exactly what those are am i boring you yet <laughs> i'm having fun i'm sitting here by myself talking to my phone and i'm having a ball going through my treasures Oh, here. These were 50 cents each. Let me see if I can. Somebody in a big truck pulled up that front. I don't know what for. Oh, let me see. This is the um, Taylor Smith Taylor dishes that I was doing an iron over in, my, in the haul video. I don't know if you can see the pattern. I'm trying to find one where you can see the pattern. And these, these plates and um, bowls 
everything were in such such good shape. They were fifty cents a piece. And like, yeah, I'm like, see, look at how beautiful these are. Like, there's I don't even think there's really any crazing. There's hardly any any scratches on them from utensils. Like, you have to come home. I cannot leave you. I cannot leave you behind. This I got for me. I I grew up in Pennsylvania. We were here where the crazy lamp lady is actually. She actually was shopping in in one of the towns I lived um, not too long ago. And I'm like, oh, I remember the mission. My parents joke about sending things to the mission all the time. Anyway, so this says greetings from Aaron Stolfutz family, Leona PA. And Leona, I believe, is near Lancaster. So it, it's hand painted on Fire King. And in, in that video, we were standing there touching a bunch of Fire King that was very, I think, a very similar dish to this. I don't think this has any resale value. This just has more emotional value to me. So this is going to go on the shelf with the hunt. That's for me. Because how much did I pay for that? 50 cents? I'm worth 50 cents, right? I keep knocking you on that. I don't know. Oh, here, the, the big, there's a bigger plate of the Taylor Smith. Taylor plates. This one has a little bit of scratches on it. It's still pretty. I feel like that's probably something I'm going to put on. Um, that's probably something that I'm going to put on eBay. Maybe as a set. Even though I think I had three small plates, one bigger plate, and I found four of the bowls. Um, I don't know that it'll bring a lot of money, maybe 15, 20 dollars for the pieces, but um, I think that's where I'm going to put it. That's going to be an eBay item. I don't see that doing well at the booth. Oh, here, this is cute. A little chicken pitcher. And it's made in Italy. Made in Italy. And this was only a dollar. It's got some crazing on it. But it was cute. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know that this, I don't know how much this would go on eBay. I'm leaning this probably will go for probably about 15 in the booth. Maybe 18 in the booth. It's not cheap, huh? Maybe a tiny little, a tiny little ding on the tip of it. But you know what? You can hardly even see it. Oh, yeah. Here, we have something to say about that. What's this? Oh, you're pretty. Yeah, this was, this was that. I don't know. Oh, I was caught. What do you call it? Is it a plate, a pedestal, a compote? And it's it's etched glass. It's very nice. Actually, touching it, it's very similar to the one plate that I touched uh, and left behind. It was only a buck. I feel like this is something that would be very happy in um, in my booth. Again, probably about 18. They ask us to not price anything below five dollars. Um, and just because there's fees to pay and so on, I try and keep my price point around 15. Of course, there are things that are more and there are things that are less. But, um, that's, that's just what I try and do. This, this was in the video too. It was a jar and it's made, it's not signed. Um, it says, is it Malif? Yeah, let's see. You can, I don't know if you can tell what that is. 
Yeah, I think it's M A I P H. I think that's it's signed there. Um, I touched rubbed on this for quite a while. It's a little gunky, a little dirty. I'm surprised. I, I almost was expecting um, some chips in the rim. No, I didn't take it apart at the goodwill, but it's it's really in good shape. Oh, oh, no, that's tape. Shoo! I thought, there we go. There it is. There's the ding. But no, there's, it was just a tape gum. So, oh, cool. That'll wash up. That'll be cute. Let's see. Anything else in that bag? No, that's the end of that bag. Let's see what's in this box. Well, let's do this bag next. Maybe we will make it for all the treasure that's on the table tonight. As I conk you around. That's okay. Let's see. What is in this? in this? Is in there. And what everyone else is. I'm going to use what I'm doing. Uh, okay. These were so pretty. They're salt and pepper shakers. They have pretty little uh, rusty rose color blue, very 80s colors. They were two dollars, originally four, but it was half price. Oh, it was two dollars for the set. Yeah, I thought for some reason I thought it was two dollars each. Um, and they are roadside Rosedale, fine bone china, made in England. I don't know. I these I had the booth one hundred percent in mind for these. Um, I don't know. We'll look them up and see see if they sell for more. But I'm thinking. Probably about 18 in the booth. Though I, those will go pretty quick. Salt and peppers go very quickly there. I had gotten a, a, a lot of glass from from a lady um, who actually had fire and like candlesticks in. And let me tell you, when I learned about that and what they were, let's just say that those two candlesticks paid for a whole lot and then some. And that made me incredibly happy. And now I need to find more. So, um, yeah, so I I had this whole I had a box like uh, the the priority the large priority the twelve by twelve by twelve um, mailing box full of different salt and peppers um, some urine depression glass all different glass um, salt and peppers and and I've sold most of all of them and it amazes me what sells the lids weren't even you know the tops weren't even in that great of shape but they sold so I'm happy uh, this is another uh, hi go ahead. Hi, Billy. Go ahead and sit down. We're talking to you. Oh. Um, so just another glass uh, relish dish, divided dish. This is this will definitely go into the um, into the booth. This stuff, it, it, this stuff sells there. jam jar maybe I don't know um does it match the picture when I saw it I'm like oh I think I have a piece that'll match that or the watering can I think I have it down here yeah. oh I think they are the same pattern right there we go huh. I don't know if they would sell together or not. Oh, there's some chippies in the in the spout. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know. That could have been me. Could have been me. I mean, they're so minimal. I don't think it's gonna break anybody's heart seeing that. 
it's very vintage color, or not vintage, very 80s color. I'm an 80s, like 70s, 80s child. Very vintage, I don't think so. And just that, uh, that fourth piece. So there's two of these and two of the straight ones. I can't wait to find out what that's going to be. That will be, when we're done talking, that was definitely going to be what we're going to look at tonight. Let's see if we can ID that. All right. Let's see what's in this box. <sighs> Talked my husband into taking me to the wheel again. I think this was half off too. I feel like it was made in Italy. I had something else that seemed like it was Italian, this little picture for two bucks. It was adorable. This may go on eBay on, on one of my auctions. Oh, where are you going? We're knocking you around. Um, where are you? Lou Ray Pastels. Lou Ray Pastels. So we have the yellow. It's washed off of here. A blue. That one has some Um there was some pink, so that's, that's in there. Oh, this is pretty. Just a little um, tippet dish, little bonbon. There's a dollar. It says Lari. Oh, what does it say? Lari, Lari Gales, Los Angeles Pottery. I don't know if you can see that. It looks pretty. I think it has a little bit of age to it. It was cute. For $2, you could pick it up. I, I think that's a poinsettia. And an apple. I. I don't know. We'll set it aside and see what happens. I think that's going to be a good thing for the booth for next Christmas, maybe. Oh, yeah. Here's a green of the Lou Ray. Sorry, I bumped you on the light. It's like, it's too, too bright. There's a green, another green, pastel green. When I was looking at comps, I was a little disappointed because I knew the name. I knew some of the other people, like the Thrifting 101 lady had these. I've seen, seen some of the other folks talk about them. This is a yellow one, even though you probably can't see the color really where. There it is. Um, I was expecting the comps to be more, another yellow one. Um, and I paid, I think I paid $2 a saucer, $2 for each saucer and um, $2 for each coffee cup. And it's not complete, but it may be something I hold on to and come across, um, so I come across some more of the pieces and, and see if I can put together a complete set. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be in too much of a rush to unload those. Some, another. Here's the blue. The blue 
saucer that goes with it. And a pink. I don't think I have a pink cup. I feel like it was mostly blue and yellow. Oh, yeah. Uh, this Royal Dalton. Where am I going? Royal Dalton Bell? Where's the summer? There it is. It doesn't have a dinger. It doesn't look like it should have a dinger. Um, designed and produced exclusively for the Danbury Mint. Oh, I'll go look it up. It was it was a whopping two dollars. So for that, I picked it up. We will learn for two dollars. Right? Two dollars. Got this little teapot here. It's cute, Asian kind of inspired. It was in good shape, just a little gunky. Just needs clean. I mean, it has markings on it, but I don't know why it's in something. I have no idea what it says, but I thought it was pretty. It was, it's marked four dollars, but I believe that this was half off. So I think I only paid two. I figured for two dollars it was worth trying to see. If it's nothing, if it's nothing, then, it, you know, um, It'll go in the it'll go in for the six fifty auction. Oh, this this bowl! I'm telling you, if you could, if this bowl weighs about four pounds itself. It has a gold metal rim, and apparently somebody's outside that they're still very unhappy. But it's cute. It's pretty. This is probably going to go in the booth, and I'm thinking I'm going to put a twenty five dollar price tag on this. It almost feels too heavy to show. So let's see. Let's see. As we were checking out in the hall video, um, in there, in the front of the store, they have uh, one of those, uh, you know, the, the the cabinets that they lock off for the things that are, you know, more valuable, even though you can get into them now. Um, so <laughs> we found some Longenberger baskets there and it came in handy. Uh, it came in handy because we put more treasure inside the basket. Longenberger. Longyear Burger sells very, very well at my booth. So I've been kind of stocking up on that. Um, folding on to pieces for, uh, to put in there as they sell down. Some, the Taylor, some the Taylor pieces. Oh, gosh, excuse me. Some more Taylor Smith Taylor. I, I just I love the look of them. I wish I was early enough to have a reason to think about picking these out and using them because this this would so be a pattern that I'd be like, this is I love doing so many different things. I'm really a paper. I mean, I, I there is nothing. There, it's just not who I am. It's just not who I am. I like pretty things. I do. I just don't think that their pretty things are meant to be. <laughs> I can't, I all drop it and break it in a moment, and I know that about myself. These were adorable. They were in the haul video. I think I have five of these. I think, are they, oh, no, they're made in Italy. There's, they're marked on there. You probably won't be able to see it. It says Italy 23 on there. 
So that's exciting. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll look these up. See what else they say. Mr. Found found this. It says Hoosiers. It's just a vase, I think, a floral vase. You know, maybe looking at the lip of it, I wonder if it had something else in it at first, um, like jam or sour cream or something like that. Because the lip of it almost looks like it would have had. So I wonder if that was made for somebody else and then you used it for them. Use it for a vase after. I had two purposes. Here's another one of those little cherry glasses. I'm excited now. I can't wait to look that up. In the in the haul video, I was you know the shopping the thrifting video. I was telling you my mom has the Libby frosted glass gold leaf, and and she's she broke one years and years ago. I tried to find her a replacement. You know, here's some more of those. Um, replacement for Christmas and I failed I, I didn't get the right the right it's a tumbler she's looking for I didn't get the right thing so that's okay we'll get the right thing we'll keep looking in our hunts we'll come across it for sure oh this I saw this bowl and I'm like, why would I pick this up? But it's because of this pretty nice. I think powder, maybe I don't think it was candy. I think this would be on a dresser. $3. Yeah, I think I paid full price for this. Oh yeah. There's, okay. I thought there was a boo boo there, but no, it's just, it's the ledge for that. That's cute. This, I don't know. I thought I may put on eBay. Had some luck with little bowls like that. I'm thinking like $20 on eBay. Oh, here's my stingle. Stingle. There we go. Single pitcher, fruit and flowered. I don't know. I've heard that Stingle does well or Stingle doesn't do well. I don't know. What you tell me? You tell me. I just I was excited when I saw the name. Like I know that name. I know that people like Stingle. I guess I'm gonna look. I'm gonna find out. Another. Another cherry running out of space. We're almost done. And we're almost to the bottom of the pile. I guess I didn't buy as much. Oh, I found Ray Dunn out in the wild too. Harmony, it says. I guess that's a good. I don't know if it, there's an original sticker on it for $5. Don't know if it's still of any value, but. We'll look it up. We'll find out. Harmony. Oh, and it was only a dollar. <laughs> we'll figure it out for a dollar, right? My long and burger basket. My picnic basket. And I stood there for the longest time too, and I, I listened to Dr. Lori as I'm standing there. They had they had a price on this that I just felt like was way too much. And there's some condition issues with this basket. But, but. The leather straps are kind of worn and standing there. And she's like, is there a problem? I'm like, this is too much. <laughs> this is too much. I, I don't think I can buy it for this. I'll buy it, but I'm not buying it for this. So she gave me half off, which was, which was very kind. I'm there a lot. I buy a lot when I'm there. So I think, I think it was fair. I think it was fair. Let's see if I can some of these back. We have just a little more to go. 
Just a little more to go. Just a little more. I was very excited when I found this long hamburger. It's the, it's the purse bag. Um, and it, this one was priced a little more reasonably. It was $30. Um, I'm going to be able to get more for that at the booth, though. Like I said, this, this goes very well at the booth. And this was definitely didn't have the condition issues that the picnic basket did. Oh, we think it's a Taylor Smith Taylor pieces. I just love it. Things are great. They just make me happy. I think that's what's in here. It's a Taylor Smith Taylor. My friend, too, she gave me um, a huge bin of false crap um, to, to sell for her. Uh, and it's not the most common pieces. It's it's more of the um, the accessories things uh, that that you not, not everybody probably would have gotten. Okay. So so that's gonna be fun playing with those this weekend. I am not shopping. I have more than enough to list. I haven't listed. I don't think, but maybe once this year. And I only got a few things up. So I really have to stay at home and stay focused this weekend. And um, get listed. I know it, my goal for this year, I have a lot of goals. Um, of course, growing my eBay business to pay off debt. Um, and, and we're working on getting the house fixed up and hoping to use some of my earnings to go into that as well. Um, but I, I, I want to get my death pile down to a controlled um, uh, where I'm, I'm you know, working on that diligently. And I want to, um, you know, not, not just shop to shop. I want I'm, I'm really focused on learning, um, where, what to put where, uh, good pricing, of course, which I, I think I really feel like I took to a duck to water with that. I, you know, things are moving, I think appropriately for what they are and just really focusing on, um, getting my house in order. You know, when I was at the, um, at my studio, I just, I would go there every weekend and just disappear and kind of lost sight of, of things that were going on at home and, and keeping track of that. Um, so, so that's some of my big goals for this year is, is really getting, getting organized and getting together. I mean, I think everybody says at the beginning of every year, Oh, I'm going to be more organized this year. I'm going to be, but you know, I, I just feel like if we set out with a plan and try, then, then if we continue to try, then that's success, right? So oh, I'm not going to preach again. So I hope you like this, this, this Friday night haul and learn. Um, I've had a good time. It was fun touching my stuff. I've been, <laughs> I've been looking forward to having some time to just sit down and kind of go through this and, and try and decide where I'm going to put it and, and and looking forward to the money that I'm going to make off of it. I, I think I got some good treasures here, but please help me out. Leave comments below. Um, stop back next Friday. I think we'll do the same thing, probably about the same time. Um, my mister, he goes to sleep. He works an evening job and I time job on Friday and Saturday nights because that makes him happy. So, um, so I try and keep the dogs quiet and keep everybody out of his way. So Friday night seemed like a good night to kind of, just take to YouTube and see what we can do. Um, so thanks for visiting with me. Um, comment, like, subscribe, help me out. Let's make friends. <laughs> Let's see what we can do to help each other grow and learn and be successful with what we have coming up this year. Right? So be well, be safe, and I'll see you next, next Friday for Friday night, Holland Learn. Um, take care. Bye-bye.